As far as I guess, just the way everything's been going, it seems like you guys, the Vikings, have just been having a really good year. What's this year been like for you individually as well as the team? Uh, it's been great, you know, just getting together as a team and uh, going out on the field and communicating, bonding with the team and being on one page, being on, being on one page. What's it like to be back here? Oh, man, great. Taking back the memory lane when I, when I was here, man. Being on the field, playing with my guys, you know, doing the same thing these guys, trying to get a win and trying to get to the net. What'd you think of the locker room? Uh, awesome. <laughs> <man. laughs> I wish you could see when I was Of course. It was nice. It's beautiful. Have you been to a game here since you left? Uh, 2013. We played against me. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's the last time I was here. The national championship. You're helping out with Kids First Fund. Talk about the decision to kind of be the, the, the face of the, the foundation and what came to that. Uh, the thing was, you know, I was in Minnesota and I was doing something as a giving presents to the hospital gym to take me to. You know, so that would happen. And I ended up finding out that they went to the hospital. So it only made sense for me. You know what I'm saying? I had a great relationship with Jimbo when I was here. And uh, then when I left, and I realized that, and I said, you know what, he knew what he knew. I was good with his sons and stuff. So he was like, you know what, that's always good to give back. You know what I said, mean? help, help out. So that's what I felt the need. And I wanted to help him call Jimbo, talk to Jimbo, and he just good for nothing. What was that conversation like when you talked to Jimbo and told him what you were going to do? Uh, he was pretty excited. You know, he was pretty excited about you know, me joining and helping him out. And I was pretty excited too. Do you ever think about what your life has been like if you had stayed a wide receiver? I don't know. I try not to think that. But probably won't be in the NFL because uh, probably won't be where I'm at now. You know, you never know. But uh, it panned out like I played DB when they moved into DB. It was a great move. At first, it was hard for me to understand. But now, I'm happy I made that move. But you didn't like it at first, right? I was probably upset, uh, talking to Jimbo. It was right between me and Jimbo at one point. Like, I didn't want to move because I never played it. I played running back and receiving high school, so I didn't understand the move for once. I understood it. Went out there and played and he got the technique down back. Went from there. Now you kind of understand the move? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great move. Yeah. What sold you on the move ultimately? Uh, my mentor, you know, he came and talked to me and just like told me, you know, I'm an athlete. It'll work out. Just trust and believe. Maybe Vikings are the last team in the NFL that still haven't had a loss yet. Do you, do you fear the Dolphins popping bubbly? Is that something you guys talk about being the, oh. the perfect <laughs> season? That, you know, they pop the bubbly once you guys are going to lose. Is that something that team talked about in the locker room? No, I'm going to talk about it. We try to just stay within the circle, stay within the locker room, and just keep playing. No Adrian Peterson, Bridgewater goes down early. Are you surprised by the amount of success this team is having? A lot of teams rich you guys off before week one. Uh, to be honest, no, not surprised. I mean, in the NFL, you know, any football period is always not the next guy. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. When those guys came in, we had to show them how to When you come back here, talk about the memories that kind of come flooding back for you when you step back into them. Oh, the jokes, you know, playing around, running around with the guys, you know, warm up, you know, being in the training room, making jokes with the trainers, you know, being the coach office, sitting here laughing with him, you know, just the littlest things, you know, you go and leave, just the things you just, I don't know, just we come back to, you know, just bring you just that happy place in your heart. Have you had a chance to really kind of keep up with the team much this year, whether it be through reading, watching TV, Showtime, anything I'm on like that? Every game, I'm watching every game, yelling at the TV like I'm on the field, like I'm a coach. So yes, man, I keep up with these guys every game, every week. If I'm not here, please, please, please go watch them on TV. Are there still guys on the team you get a chance to talk to, or do you still have any of those relationships, or is everyone to know that you knew kind of graduated and gone? Or? Yeah, everyone I pretty know is just gone, you know. But uh, once, you know, I come back out here, you know, I try to talk to the young guys as much as I can. You know, I was out here once and once the second time, but I was able to talk to a few guys, you know, give, give them some knowledge on how I become where I was at and what they need to work with have you had a chance? I mean, what have you said to them since you've been back here? Have you had a chance to sit down and talk with some of the guys? Yeah, just confidence, you know. Go out there and just make plays. Be confident in what you know. And, uh, don't second guess yourself and just go out there and play ball. When you're yelling at the TV, what do you typically yell at? Oh, I can't say it on TV. I can't say it right now. <laughs> you just know I'm yelling, saying some stuff. You know, but also, you know, I'm yelling at the good things, you know, I'm yelling. And, 
saying great stuff. Bro. Believe it, the people in my house and my next door neighbor, they they pretty worried about me. Bro. Yelling pretty loud. Bro. I don't like Minnesota, man. Just the state, the weather, the whole deal. It's, 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 it's great. It's just the winter. You know, it's pretty cold. Bro. Pretty cold. So, it's, it's a great city. Right. Wonderful city. Yeah. You know, being from South Florida, coming there and being a negative degree weather and being an outdoor stadium my second year for two years, it was beautiful. And, uh, I fought through it. You still managed to win. Yeah. As far as like the weather and the things like that, have you had to do things like plug in your car engine to make sure it stays warm overnight? Or? Exactly. You have to um, really basically start your car before you leave and have it <laughs> on for like 30 minutes before you get in. So if you don't, you'll sit in your car and you'll freeze for 30 minutes before the, uh, the heater kick in. You know, so it's, it's bad, but I, that's the only problem. And I got to ask, I mean, I'm sure you might have someone do it, but have you shoveled snow yet? And if so, what'd you think? <laughs> um, frost bites, hands was frozen. I mean, upset, end up getting in my car with the snow on my, on my, uh, on my car. And I don't know, I would just have to get it all together. <laughs> One more. How important was T-Buck as part of that transition? Was he your mentor um, that you were talking about? Or? Yeah. 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 T-Buck played a major part because he helped me every step of the way. You know, he was times I was frustrated, times I was the worst corner we had. You know, and he, he told me, I just, like I said, you know, I told you that, you, know, you got to trust and believe. You know, you got to keep working. So that's what I did. And T-Buck helped me out with the technique and little things. And, Still to this day, you know, he called me, he called me about the little thing, like, hey man, I ain't like that. I ain't like how you slide your feet. How you gonna ever catch a ball on you? You know what I'm saying? He still messed with me, you know what I'm saying? We still have that relationship. Was he part of the formula as far as Timbo had this plan for you to go to corner, but, but T Buck helped you kind of execute that? Was that an important component of the transition to the corner? Yeah, I got to obviously where he because Jimbo made the move and T Buck just kept with the team technique. And, uh, it's all panned out for now. Thank you, man. Thank you.